I'm wearing the same clothes as Tuesday. I need to run our rent down. My friend Dustin's in town for the weekend, and he was going to be in Winter Park in Loveland today and tomorrow with his sister snowboarding with a fresh powder. And we were going to hang out Saturday and just do whatever. He called me up, and his sister's not feeling well, so they switched plans entirely, spending his vacation day today so she can get rest so they can go snowboarding the next two days. And I just got done with my hike yesterday thinking we weren't going to do hike stuff until Saturday, and I was going to get all, all my work done today, but everything got all swapped around. So I need to go pick him up. And I feel bad because I usually meet with John in the morning and I'm sorry John, I'm going to text you here later. I gotta go pick him up. I don't know if I've said this. I've expressed it to Trent. I love having people over. I'm thankful that people want to visit, but not but, excuse me. We also have not had 10 straight days where no one has visited in the six months that we've lived here. It's kind of crazy. But I guess we just moved here and the majority of people we know is from somewhere else. So, you know, they wanted to come check it out, which is cool. I need to rush down and pick him up though. It's like almost 7 in the morning. I know that could kind of all come out I don't want that, oh my goodness. And I don't want that to sound mean at all. I love having company, like I said. And I know plans change, and especially, you know, if I was on a vacation and my plans got screwed around real quick, I, I would hope that the people that host me were able to accommodate. Otherwise, I would understand. And I think I'm just, I, I, I don't say no very easily to hosting and accommodating others, so that's kind of my fault, but as long as I get up early tomorrow, I get it all done. Or this afternoon. This could be real quick. Probably not though. This also works well because our rent is due today because it is December 1st. That's right. I haven't done that in a while. I think every time I do that I haven't done it in a while. So I say I haven't done it in a while. Um, so this works out well. I can actually just pick them up and stuff, drop off rent and everything, and it'll still be in the morning and we'll figure out what its next plan is. Always, always forget the floor. I don't know why I'm parked in an alley. I couldn't find parking and I was driving around for like 20 minutes. So I parked in there, I'm gonna run this up quick and come back down, hopefully. Going down. I got it right. Uh, maybe I should have left my car running. I'm like worried now. Bobby. I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. It just worked for me this one time. I gotta get the dust and I was tired of driving around. And to be honest, there really isn't anything against this wall that says no parking at all. All the other alleyways say no parking. Struggle for like oh, two got it. That squirrel side. just stole the pumpkin. There he is! There he is! He ran past. Dude, Little cool. bandit. Okay. Prison yard. <coughs> right off so here. Is that what that is? Yo, look who we found. No, I got shades. She forgot her shades. You need them got shades. Yeah, actually. These are fake. This is this is a uh, graphic. What's that called? Animation. This is animation. It's 
perfect, isn't it? We're headed up to potentially two spots up in Boulder. Flagstaff, foot, no wait, what's it called? Foothills, Flagstaff, Flatirons? One of those two. Flatirons. Boom, boom, boom. And then there's the Lost Gulch. Two of our favorite lookouts. So, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Oh, shit, there's a ton of them there. Oh, I've messed them all. <laughs> First time I put the boots on, <laughs> twice in two days. Got the wonderful Quaid family here. We're gonna show them one of our favorite spots. We all got our hiking boots on. Well, that? So that guy missed the turn. Okay, well. Oh, what was that? Cell phone. I gotta move the thing over a little bit. Two in a row is, uh, has never been done till today. Whew. I'm just gonna stop real quick. <laughs> Sir, are you from Iowa? <laughs> This thing is more than 10 feet tall. It's a palm tree. A house. It costs as much as a house. This is $95,000 for this rock piece of this palm tree. It says, please touch. We're back down in liquid. This apartment complex reminds me of Sterling when I used to live there. So they told me this is a prison yard right here, right behind their complex. 